Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of What the Fuck Am I Doing With My Life? So originally I had plans to post a collaboration I did with other musicians today of Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer, but the drummer and the singer dropped out and the guitarist developed a case of Spielkiss in his Genetikazunk. I got a lot of nice feedback from the last time I reacted to Nuke's Top 5 videos, and I thought that I would make that a regular thing, like Reaction Fridays or something like that. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see. You guys can also recommend stuff that you want me to react to. That could also be helpful. But as far as I'm going, I guess Nuke's Top 5 videos are going to be the default because this stuff is pretty freaking cool. So the spiel tonight isn't going to be very long because I really do want to get into this because the last time I did these reactions it took me exactly 18 hours of editing and a few more hours to actually upload it onto YouTube. And honestly, fuck that. So today we're going to be reacting to Nuke's Top 5's 5 Scary Ghost Videos That Will Scare Away Yo Mama. While my mama ain't here, you are stuck with me. So do your worst, Nuke. Do your worst. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Hidden Not too long ago, I featured a video by Czech ghost hunter Bono from the YouTube channel ILMN Bono Paranormal. In the video, Bono traveled to an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. The factory has been deserted for almost 60 years after a large explosion. Ostrava? I think my best friend Chris is from there. Explosion in the building tragically took the lives of several workers. The factory is said to be haunted by the angry, restless spirits of the deceased workers. Now, since his last video, Bono has returned to the Czech factory to show new viewers and subscribers that came over for my video where he captured all of the terrifying activity. All the best adventures start in abandoned factories, apparently. Most of you are probably from Nuke's Top 5 video, so welcome everyone. Oh, Actually, oh, what Nuke got wrong is that this window is was not a, ref, a reflection. Behind this window is this hallway, and here is the closet. The closet. Hmm. As you saw, oh my god, <laughs> I got scared so much that I accidentally stopped the recording. Bono is startled by the sound of cups suddenly crashing to the floor. Probably because those ghosts were practicing that Anna Kendrick cups thing like back in 2010 or something. And they just keep failing. He turns toward the sound and... Did you see it? Oh, I saw it Watch that again. time. Yeah, I saw it right that time. Right after the unexplained sound, a translucent shadow-like figure is caught on camera quickly moving past Bono. At the end of a long hallway, a shadow figure can be seen peeking out at oh. him. He pans the camera back only seconds later, and the dark figure has disappeared. Well, isn't that wizard? A room that seemed to be especially active on his last visit. Things take a terrifying turn. Here is the room with the chair. The chair. This chair moved on my previous video. What else do we have here? Some, uh... No! <laughs> wow. That was neat. As Bono is showing a chair that seemed to move on its own in his previous video, a large cabinet on his left captures his attention. Suddenly, all of the doors swing open, sending the terrified explorer running from the abandoned factory. A haunting in Holland. Hmm. Now, this next video was sent to me directly, and despite my efforts and research, it's pretty much shrouded in mystery. I have no idea about the specific details on this video, other than to say it's very, very creepy. The video was posted to YouTube by an anonymous channel and features a woman in the Netherlands allegedly experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in her home. What the f is oh my god. Oh my god. Mm.
More stuff with cabinet. The woman is completely alone at home when she claims to hear unexplained sounds all around her. As she films, her ceiling light starts swinging back and forth, and the kitchen light flickers. When she yep. looks inside the doorway, multiple drawers and a cabinet have somehow opened on their own. Now absolutely terrified, she turns to walk away when suddenly she hears the open kitchen drawer slam shut and the light goes out again. Right before the camera cuts, a strange figure can be seen looking at her from inside Ooh, the doorway. That's what that was. Now, given the anonymous nature of this video, I don't know who the woman is, and I don't know what happened to her. Can you imagine ghosts like that, like just being around in your house and they're like bored to tears, so they just start scaring the occupants just out of fun? Like they're trying to scare you off by moving the drawers and the cabinets and playing around with the lights when you're not in the room. And then they just peek their head around like, Marla, is she still here? I don't know, Jadine, let me look around. Yep, bitch is still here. I saw that Air Afrikaans Ooh. compilation. Now I just, for some reason, cannot get that out of my head. For some reason, I just envision these prankster ghosts Ooh. like Janine and Marla. Unholy. An anonymous YouTube urban explorer who goes by the name Urbex Hill has a fairly new YouTube channel dedicated to exploring abandoned locations in Cleveland, Ohio. In one of his videos, he travels to a decaying 100-year-old Catholic church Whoa. that was left abandoned long ago. <laughs> the, face. the building that was once a site of architectural beauty oh, now appears man, to be in a state nice. of severe deterioration yes. with collapsed ceilings and rotting floors. YouTuber And a whole hell of a lot of face graffiti. Did you see that? Oh my god. Urbex people might be happy to see that cathedral, but that cathedral ain't happy to see you. Hill is carefully making his way through the church when he oh, accidentally captures there. something very unexpected on the upper floor balcony. Is that? Oh yeah. So what Nuke calls the upper floor balcony is actually the organ loft or choir loft. Because in that big space back there, that's where the pipe chest of the organ used to sit. Urbex Hill doesn't even notice when right in front of him a wooden plank suddenly oh. just moves on its own. When replaying the footage, it's obvious that there's no reason for this piece of wood to take this strange slide across the floor. Completely unaware of what he just captured, Urbex Hill continues exploring and eventually finds the basement of the abandoned church. These ghosts ain't fucking around. They were fun at whack these toots with a 2 by 4 and now they're going to the basement. That just sounds like the safest place to be with a homicidal spirit that wants to clock you in the back of the head with a 2 by 4 Using a flashlight, he walks down into the pitch black cellar. And that's when his exploration becomes the stuff of nightmares. Tell me more. Did you see it? Yes! When the this time I actually did see it. When the can be seen standing in the basement with him. The figure doesn't reflect any light and appears to have no visible features. Wow. What makes the footage even stranger is that Urbex Hill had been exploring and looking around the basement for a while before the shadow figure appears. But the only footsteps you can hear are his own. But the story gets even a little bit weirder. Because YouTube commenter Goya Flava believes that this same creepy dark figure can be seen even earlier in the video. Oh, really? Down the dark hallway. Popular Italian ghost hunters from the YouTube channel Ooh. PIT. I love these guys. I've actually team, seen a couple of their videos. Traveled to an abandoned World War II bunker in a snow-covered valley in the Italian Alps. The bunker is absolutely huge as it goes deep into the mountains and covers multiple floors with many narrow hallways. I actually had a dream about this once. It wasn't really a <laughs> hair in my mouth. <laughs> it wasn't really a nightmare per se. It was just 
a weird dream that I have. I have those. I mean, it looks and sounds eerily similar to that dream I had. Now, the underground passageway that I went through the mountain, in my dream anyway, looked nothing like this. It, it was just, it kind of looked more like natural caving a little bit. Well, it looked more like caving. It looked more rocky and stuff like that. It didn't look like smooth walls like this. The creepy location has an even creepier story. Many soldiers lost their lives inside this bunker. What? The group is terrified when cameraman Jack suddenly feels something touch his shoulders from his end of the creepy tunnel. And then host Deborah hears something running towards them from the opposite end of the tunnel. They feel trapped and surrounded by something. The PIT team conducts a spirit box session and they get some very, very strange answers. Ma c'è qualcuno che ci sta capendo? Senti quanta gente. Ma lo stanno parlando fra di loro. Ma io voglio sapere se qualcuno mi sta sentendo. Oh, it's in English. That's cool. Photographer Simone snaps a picture and captures something terrifying. It's hard for me to focus with a face that looks like that. I have a feeling that would scare me a lot more than any of the spirits that dwell within that bunker. What? Show us. Oh my god, show us the picture already. What? What? While taking photos of the tunnel in front of them, Simone captures what appears to be a figure at the end of the hallway. But apparently PIT host Paolo is unfazed. Damn, that's a really thin apparition. Like, super thin. Can you imagine like being here in the hereafter and you're so focused on getting your body in shape and then you finally realize that you're actually dead and then you're just like, but I've, I've been, been dieting. dieting. He decides to venture off alone to explore one of the dark tunnels. He sees something absolutely chilling. Sorry, it just sounds like there's music playing. Do you guys like hear that? Okay, I'm not hearing their voices so well now, and I think it's probably because they're playing music in this video that's copyrighted, and Nuke is trying the best he can to, you know, like, silence it so that we can only hear their voices and not the music. A dark figure walks from left to right at the end of the tunnel right in front of Paolo. Oh. He runs after yeah. the figure, camera in hand, but when he reaches the spot where the figure disappeared, there's nothing there. Except not a only huge that, but there's nowhere rubble. the figure could have gone. Just a blocked off tunnel wall of rocks and stone. Whatever the figure was, it seems to have disappeared into thin air didn't disappear into thin air, it disappeared into the corridor that is blocked up by a bunch of boulders. They're not exactly super corporeal here. I just spat. Boy, isn't that attractive. The Gold Hill Hotel. The Gold Ooh, Hill Hotel in the small hotels. town of Gold Hill, Nevada was built all the way back in the Wild West days of the early 1860s. One of the more active spirits at the Gold Hill Hotel is said to be that of a miner named William who resided in room number five before perishing in the gold mine fire. Today, visitors claim to smell an odd strong tobacco odor when they enter room number five. 
Others say that they've seen the frightening apparition of a miner roaming the hotel halls. Guests also report that they hear unexplained knocking, things move on their own, and hotel doors slam shut, locking guests outside. Another spirit that is said to haunt the hotel is that of a so-called, quote, lady of the night named Rosie, who stayed in room number four while entertaining men during lonely nights. Just like William, she's sometimes seen in her room. Oh my god, can I just have like one vlog episode where it doesn't get saucy? But also aimlessly wandering around the hotel. In a three-part YouTube series, twin paranormal team Ryan, River, Nick, and Wyatt investigate the many claims surrounding the mysterious Gold Hill Hotel and its two lingering unwanted guests. I've heard the of guys these guys. guys hang bells at strategic locations throughout the hotel as the jingling will detect any movement. And even though there's no draft in the hotel, the bells continue to jingle. That was the bells. Room number five, which was gold miner William's room, their static camera captures something truly bizarre. Well, if you open that, someone was in here, then thank you. We are definitely not prepared for that. That's for sure. Fire? Did you say fire? Did you say fire, right? What's that oh. sound? I don't know. That just said fire. While Nick and Wyatt are downstairs and Ryan and River are in room four, next door in vacant room five, a chair inexplicably begins to rock back and forth on its own, almost as if something is sitting there. Man, can you imagine getting like a curmudgeon ghost? Later in the investigation, while Ryan sits in the same room all by himself, again, the chair moves. I just heard a groan. I don't know if it was them. Across. Across. Mm. Are you across from me? If you are, please move something. River, Nick, and Wyatt are downstairs doing a spirit box session while Ryan is upstairs all alone in room five. Mm. He doesn't even notice it. But again, the chair in the corner of the room starts rocking back and forth. Later, things take an even more terrifying turn when the twin paranormal team members are now all together in room five. Next door in empty room four, their static camera captures something truly chilling. Did it just go off? It's ticking. Here I go. Beware. Beware. Wow. Beware the curmudgeon that also lives here. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm like super tired and I'm having a hard time differentiating if ghosts actually live there even though they're not living anymore. You know what I mean? What do you call it when a ghost re resides? That's what it is. Resides. Because you can't really call it living there because they're not living anymore. Wow, that's a that's a big shadow. If it's you a can, very vivid shadow. Try and follow where you're getting those spikes. <gasps> what did what did he just say? It's around this area. You didn't say. Did he breathe before he said anything? No. I just heard a. <laughs> Nick is holding an EMF meter that gets triggered by something and only seconds later a dark shadow like mass seems to walk past their static camera over in room four this is the same room where rosie the gold hills lady of the night is said to have been seen by many recent hotel guests damn wouldn't that suck if you had to do lap dances for people even after you're dead she should make like an only fans account or something and that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. And if you like, you guys can also suggest other things that you want me to react to. I could react to SCP animations by The Rubber or Dr. Bob. I can also react to some other animations made by this cool horror animator called 
animated horror flicks. He's relatively new to the platform, so I thought I could react to some of his stuff too. And if you're new here, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, because every little bit really does help my channel. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys in the next video.